Well, it looks like some very heavy rain coming into portions of the area, especially tonight into Friday. And also, yeah, it could be some snow in portions of the area. Not a big impact for a lot of people, though. We'll have that at the end of the video. As far as the rainy part of it, we still have that flood watching effect. This hasn't changed from yesterday. Pretty much anywhere from Cody down toward the uh, Winter River Basin, Riverton Land, Thermopolis, southern portions of the Bighorn Basin, Johnson County, as well as Matrona County. And we take a look at what the uh, WPC thinks. Those are our partners out in the uh, Washington, D.C. area, our national headquarters. It lines up pretty well what we have here. You can see we have a slight risk of uh, heavy rainfall, basically anywhere from about a 1 to 6 chance. Riverton Land, Thermopolis, Casper, the big towns, the main threat out of that. And the area surrounding it in the green, that's a marginal risk. Anywhere from Rock Springs, Eastern Divide, also Cody, Warland, includes Buffalo, even though it's not in the map as well. So a lot of areas, especially East Divide, could see heavy rain. West Divide, you probably won't see quite as much. Now, how much rain are we going to get? This is what we expect right now. You see the bullseye here over the Wind River Basin, anywhere from about 1 to 2 inches. But anywhere safe from Thermopolis down toward uh, Dubois, over here toward Casper, likely to pick up about an inch, inch and a half of rain out of this. And the area surrounding it, anywhere from about, say, a tenth to about a half an inch, depending on where those rain bands set up across the area. Now, this isn't perfect, but this is the best chance of seeing the heavy rainfall. And those of you that had some thunderstorms the past few days have saturated soil. Could be some flooding problems over the next couple of days. So as we time out the impacts, there will be some rain around during the day today, but the heaviest will occur tonight into early Friday before it tapers off toward the afternoon hours. As we head toward the wintry part of the system, yeah, snow likely in the higher elevations uh, tonight into Friday. This is east of the divide. But the main impacts will be of a past level. Now, if you're going over places like Togedy Pass, maybe Powder River Pass, you could see some snowflakes flying through the air, but anything that falls during the day is not going to stick. We're almost at the summer solstice now. And even at night, I don't think there could be too many problems since the ground temperatures are fairly warm. But if we're heading up to the highest elevations, above about 10,000 feet, probably will be some snow flying through the air, and it will accumulate there. You can see here, especially the Wind River Range, southern of Zorkas, and also the Bighorn Mountains, highest elevations above about 11 to 12,000 feet could pick up six inches plus of new snow over the next couple of days. Be safe, everybody, and enjoy your day.